civilians have been evacuated. Any armed soldiers down there are fair game. Up until now, Liu Hayabusa has been just an action guy and a killing machine. But for Ninja Gaiden 3, we're trying to make him a Japanese dark hero um, and give him sort of the abilities and the, the character of a dark hero and let people all over the world experience him as sort of that Japanese dark hero. In order to make Liu Hayabusa into a Japanese dark hero, uh, we have to look at the past and what he's been doing. So he's been an action guy in the past, he's been a killing machine in the past. So in Ninja Gaiden 1, we had combat that just felt really good, and it felt good to kill people and to cut people down. In Ninja Gaiden 2, it was about what happens after you cut them. So you had the dismemberment, and you had beheadings and all of that. Uh, for Ninja Gaiden 3, we have the steel on bone concept. And what we're trying to do is really have players feel like they're cutting into a human, into flesh and bone, and to feel what it's like to kill someone that close when they're right in front of you at the end of your sword. In Ninja Gaiden 3, we're adding actions that will hopefully make Ryu Hayabusa feel more like a ninja, uh, and a ninja that's coming from a Japanese developer. So we have actions of sliding underneath low objects, uh, using the daggers on his legs, uh, called kunais using those to climb up walls, uh, jumping from those walls and landing on an enemy and slicing them from the back, uh, assassinating enemies. These kinds of actions we feel work well with ninjas in a sort of our image, the Japanese image of what ninjas do. <laughs> With the Steel on Bone concept, we're really focusing on cutting enemies down with a katana. So, in the past Ninja Gaiden games, we've had, uh, of course, other weapons uh, and other sorts of combinations. But this time, it's really tied into the concept of a Japanese dark hero, and the story itself revolves uh, very heavily around the sword and the idea of the sword. So for the core game play for Ninja Gaiden 3, it's really focusing on the sword, uh, the katana, and cutting people down with that and what it feels to cut through a person. So of course being ninja, you also have ninpo, and that's not going anywhere. We have ninpo in Ninja Gaiden 3 as well. We're not going to be showing the ninpo just yet, but you know it's there, and uh, you'll, we really think you'll enjoy it when you see it. Ninja Gaiden 3 is, of course, a numbered title. It's the next title in the series. But there are several aspects that we have really started over from scratch and tried to rethink. Uh, you'll see from the save system the seamless integration of the Falcon flying in. You'll see other controls that feel more immersive or more natural to mimic the actions that you're seeing on screen to get you into the world of Ninja Gaiden. That idea to have a more seamless world and gameplay will translate through the whole game. So stuff like going into the menus, opening a menu, selecting a healing item, okay, and then you heal yourself that way, though that seems old now. Uh, you don't see that in a lot of games nowadays, in sort of the major games. So we're trying to make it more seamless, just keep the emphasis on immersion into the world of Ninja Gaiden and make the gameplay elements uh, seem seamless with the rest of the story and the action that's happening. So we're really putting our heart and soul into Ninja Gaiden 3 to make it absolutely the best action game out there. We hope everybody at E3 can come by the booth, play through it, and feel it for themselves. And everybody who can't be at E3 can see the walkthrough and see what we're going for and really look forward to Ninja Gaiden 3.